Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Here we are in New York City. And Kyle Cunningham, things have been rising for you. Fourth place last time out. You're knocking on that podium. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're really trying. St. Louis went well. Um, you know, just need to get out of the gate. That's uh, been the issue. Running around uh, the first corner in 17th and, and making up time isn't uh, really that great, but it's a good finish. And, uh, you know, we've been close. It's been right there. And, you know, we got to come out and do press day this week, and they really had some great things going. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about this New York race and um, hoping to put it on the podium this weekend and, and start up front so I don't have to work so hard. Opportunity to see the track and see the dirt. Of course, a new race here, a new dirt to be on. Tell us about what you think the conditions are inside the stadium. Yeah, I mean, uh, judging by facility-wise and everything they've done with the pits and stuff, uh, it looks like they're doing a great job with the race. And like I said, we got to ride the track. Um, you know, it's uh, the start's a little different color dirt than the rest of the track, but. Um, you know, the dirt when it was moist was a little bit tacky, got rutted, and then uh, there were some dry spots kind of like back home. So, uh, you know, either way, the Dirt Works guys did a great job with the track. There's some technical rhythms out there. Um, Hill and a few guys were doing some big rhythms, yeah. and, uh, you know, the track seems to flow good, and uh, I think tonight the, the start will be important on it. Um, some of the corners are tight, but I think it's going to make for some good racing. Yeah, you keep mentioning the starts. Maybe you need to talk to your mechanic about setting up your bike better. Yeah, you know, uh, my mechanic's my dad now. He's doing a great job. Uh, he started wrenching for me at St. Louis, and, uh, you know, it went really well. He works hard for me, and, uh, you know, my ha my family's always been behind me 100%, so it's, uh, it's a big group effort, but uh, it's nice to have him on the line. You know, it's uh, kind of the same thing with him that he's told me uh, since I was younger, just... 150% on the weekend, as long as I don't quit on him, he's happy. So, uh, you know, we talked a little bit, and I'm looking forward to uh, have it worked out with these guys to stay and, and race over here uh, during the outdoor season. So I'm going to keep the momentum going, keep letting my dad wrench for me, and, uh, you know, hopefully get out of the gate and get some good finishes. I know as a racer, you want to get better each week. You want to move up the podium against the same guys you've been racing, but it seems like there's a lot of room on the podium now. All the pro circuit guys are gone. Bogle left above you, basically. Is, is that How does that change your approach to the day, or does it? Oh, I mean, I think it's the same approach. we got to go out and practice, put our head down, get in uh, some good laps, get comfortable, make sure the bike's working good. Um, you know, there's there's a ton of guys on the gate, you know. it's I mean, I know those guys were the ones that were in front of me, and, uh, you know, if you look at it, you say my force would have been seconds almost if they were missing, but, you know, you still got Martin and LeMoyne and a lot of those guys that ride really well, and, uh, you know, there's still going to be a battle up front. It's, it's going to come down to, you know, getting out of the gate and uh, starting the race on the first lap up there and putting together 15 solid laps. Like I said, the... The track on press day, the rhythms were difficult, and it's easy to make a mistake. So, uh, you know, just going to have to be consistent, put my head down, keep uh, keep doing what I'm doing, you know. Uh, it was a little bumpy at first, but we've been making some progress, getting the bike better. So just looking forward to uh, getting the day going, but we got a little bit of a rain rain delay right now, I think. So, uh, you know, just sit and wait. As a racer, what do you do with that? Uh, I mean, I think it's just more time to... Uh, to handle your stuff to be honest you know it's crazy going to some of the races and sitting there watching you're like man is is the main ever going to get here or the race is ever going to get here but uh you know it's a different story on race days when you're there racing and uh you're making sure the goggles are ready to go helmets are ready to go gears there you know getting the bike ready tires stuff like that it's um it's a lot of work so it actually gives us a little more time which is nice but um you know, just looking forward to getting the day underway and uh, getting out on the track. I felt comfortable on press day just beside uh, one little crash there at the end. But, um, you know, just looking forward to the race. I'm sure it's going to be a great turnout. And like I said, uh, you know, the whole uh, Supercross and Feld, they've done a great job with uh, the pits. And I'm sure they're expecting a big crowd. So it's going to be fun to uh, race up here in New York. Yeah, I know today is all business. You're focused on the race and racing in that program. But you've been here most of the week. Did you get out and do anything fun in the city, get an opportunity to go out and be a part of the New York life? Uh, you know, I, uh, I got here early this week. It was raining down in Florida. Um, went there to do some outdoor testing, and uh, we got up here on Monday, went and saw a few things, and then uh, actually met a friend, Gary, that's friends with Ted, and he, I got the opportunity yesterday. He took me up in his helicopter, flew us around the Statue of Liberty, and uh, 
over where 9-11 happened in the city and stuff like that. And, you know, it was a cool experience. Um, went last night to the Yankees game, the uh, the Angels. You got smashed by the Angels. Yeah, the Angels smoked him, so JG was pretty happy. But, uh, you know, it was cool to go on the subways and, and, you know, the tram across and just see everything and be down in the city. It's definitely a cool place, and uh, I've never been here before, so it's awesome. Podium tonight? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping so, you know. Like I said, uh, it's, it's going to be key to get out of the gate tonight. I think passing will be a little bit tough, but that's what we're looking for. You know, I've had two fourth places and kind of been around the same spot uh, in a few other rounds. So we're just, you know, at the end of the day, uh, looking to get it on the box, maybe even better, um, you know. But we'll see how, uh, how it ends up. There's a possibility for rain, you know. So anything can happen, but uh, just looking forward to getting the racing going. Yeah, there's the gold, silver, and then like the tin medal. No more tin medals for you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've I've had some some seconds and thirds and stuff like that, and uh, you know, right now, obviously, uh, the fourth places were awesome. Looking to get on the box, yeah. but uh, man, I can't say a, a win would be awesome. So we'll see what we can make happen.